Testing one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. I wanted to do a quick video about some of the things that gave me confidence in writing my first book. And one of those things was this book by Stephen King called On Writing. And I would say it's an amazing book if you want to be a better writer. And it doesn't mean you need to write a book necessarily, you can. But if you want to be a better writer in general, emails, text messages, whatever you're into, this book is a fantastic read and it's not what you think. It's not exactly a how to write book, but it's very inspirational and it gave me a lot of confidence, but it also gave me some tactics. So there is some tactics in the book that I want to talk about that are really important. All right, so one of the first big pieces of advice he gives in the book is reading a lot. And hopefully if you're interested in writing a book, you do enjoy reading. Reading a lot, it's really to help you build practice in understanding language and understanding how characters and things are put together. Whether you're writing a nonfiction book or a fiction book, it doesn't matter. You still are going to have a character in there, right? If you are doing nonfiction, you're the character. The next one's a little bit more difficult for some people, but um, let me tell you how I did it. He talks about writing and building a writing habit. So you wanna be writing daily. And what that means is that you want to be constantly contributing to what you want to write about. I know we write emails all day or we're writing messages or we're texting. That's a form of writing too. So it's not to say that you need to sit down with your pipe and smoking jacket in your library and start, start penning your manuscript. It doesn't have to be anything that formal. But one of the things that I did that really helped me was just to at least write a couple of sentences a day towards my goal of the book that I was working on. So I would write a few things here and there, or I would type them out, or I would make notes even, analog notes, anything that would help me contribute to that effort. And basically just like exercise, over time you start to see more and more results. So try and build that habit daily, writing a little bit every single day, and you'll be glad you did. So in the last thing he talks about is learning how to edit and how to edit yourself. Now, we all know a lot of people that probably could benefit from some editing just as people. When we're writing, when we're writing for our books or things like that, we don't want to be editing as we go, where we want to limit it as much as possible. We want a place where we're just dumping things into a repository that we'll come back to later and edit. What I ended up doing was, is I'd write during the week and then on a weekend day, like a Saturday or a Sunday in the morning, I would pull up those words, that document, that folder, whatever the case may be, and then I would spend some time editing. I wouldn't write that day specifically. If I felt like it, I would, but I wouldn't specifically say, okay, today's a writing and editing day. Today's just an editing day. So I'd go through, and then the great thing was is that now as I built up this stuff over time, it, the momentum started to build, and all of a sudden I had pages and pages of work done, and now I was spending my time going through and editing a lot of this work, which was then inspiring me to write even more or to fill in gaps that I found as I was doing it. And it started to become a real habit. And that's really how the book started to come together really quickly. You'll hear a lot when people are writing books as they say, it took me two years to write the book, but I wrote the majority of it in, the, in three months right before their, their publisher was waiting for it. Procrastination can work against you, but can also work for you. So my point is that you should spend some time building that daily habit. And the great thing is that the way that he talks to you as a character in his own book is very conversational. It's very approachable. He's not talking down to anybody. He's just expressing something that he loves to do and how you could love it too if you gave it a little bit more effort. So that's all I got today. One quick reminder, The Little Book of Networking, available now on Amazon. I'll have links in the description below.